the haram will never be made halal to please your desires. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I know that you may got confused with the thumbnail of the video. But yes, we are talking about the, the thing which is pushed in the month of June, especially on our children. How many times have we said that Qaim Lut is not going to stop? On several occasions, a compassionate imam has told me. You really need to tone down your rhetoric on LGBT. Gay sex is haram, but we still need to respect them, work with them, maybe even fight for their equal rights. My response to them, have you read the Quran? Are you illiterate or just stupid? Do you not see what Allah says about these people and their agenda? And you are trying to fight for their rights? Now Khan Lut is tired of pretending. They are openly saying it out loud and they don't care what you think. Their agenda laid bare, of course, is molesting children. In the Quran, Allah tells us that the people of Lut were Musrifun. People of excess. Dot. You lust after men instead of women. You are certainly a transgressing people. The mentality of calm lot has always been about, or excess. Transgressing. What does that mean exactly? Crossing all boundaries, busting out of any limits, not respecting any laws, not having any red lines. Never being satisfied, never quieting or finally settling or just staying put. Just constantly wanting to keep going, seeking increasingly more taboo acts. Once obtained, it's still not enough. There is suddenly a desire for more. Insatiable appetites that keep increasing just as soon as they are met. So it never stops, the reaching and overreaching. Excess. 160 Islamic leaders signed an article condemning gender and sexuality ethics. Based? To begin with, the article doesn't allow for different viewpoints, which is ironic when you consider that Islam has a long history of diverse interpretations. It should tell you something when 160 plus scholars all sign off on a particular topic, condemning it. There are no other viewpoints. All of the scholars agree this is a consensus that there is only one viewpoint for this topic. This is so clear in the Quran and Sunnah that no matter what sect you go to, it's condemned. Trying to definitively decide on such a complex and evolving topic like gender and sexuality when there are Islamic leaders who have given differing opinions shows an unjustified confidence and a refusal to recognize the importance of being open-minded. Do you guys notice the wording here? Open-minded, diversity, everything has to change to suit the narrative of the Western liberal mindset. If there is a random imam somewhere out there that says that something that is haram within the Quran and Sunnah is halal, they're not an imam. They would be teaching something is permissible when it is clearly indicated that it is not within the Quran and Sunnah. Secondly, the article has a loose foundation for credibility because it attempts to speak for the entire religion of 1.6 billion people but hardly solicits the diversity of thought for those same people. For example, only seven of the 160 people who signed were women, and more than 99% of the signatories are Sunni. Only two Shia organizations were included. Absolutely zero queer Muslims themselves were. There are those who have signed off on this article that have same-sex attraction and yet still condemn it. You can find them if you actually look through the article. Some random nobody out in the middle of nowhere that says that these types of acts are halal? We don't care about their opinion. We care about the consensus. And the consensus is clear. The Quran and Sunnah are clear. But its lack of any support or respite for the LGBT people could be just the justification more extreme people need to go on the offensive. This is from the Quran. We're not supposed to support or ally or anything with this community. Look at what happened to Prophet Lut alayhi salam's wife. She supported the people of Lut and was left behind because of it and suffered the consequence. The unwelcoming narrative could also cause questioning LGBT Muslims to leave Islam while simultaneously justifying further Islamophobia. Again, this is like a threat. They're saying if you don't do this, then it justifies Islamophobia. The deen won't change for you just because you don't like what's said within it. LGBTQ designed 
sandals for your kids to wear. Naked women on t-shirts. Naked women on t-shirts at Target. Oh, and this might be a trans naked man on a t-shirt. This is a picture of how to install a bulb and holder properly. Must be in pairs between the holder and the bulb, so they can complement and love each other, shine bright in the darkness. It's the same as humans who are also created in pairs, male and female. So that they can complement each other in goodness. Looking for another partner who is not in accordance with human nature is just like deviation. Like holder and bulb that are not fitted properly is a form of deviation in the rules of fitting bulb and holder that have been set every human being is born naturally. What makes them change is environmental conditions, socializing in, spectacle, and science. Wrong knowledge and mindset coupled with wrong association and environment will make man grow wrong. So, make sure we follow the rules, especially the rules in religious law. Rules were created not to restrict freedom, but to keep us safe and sane. It's a pot light. No one had today. What happened? Someone said a boy come over your boy and a girl come over your girl. A stuck for the law. That's completely false. And not only is that against Islam, but that's also against Christianity and Judaism. A stuck for law, really? How do I give a law? That's easy. You just explain using science. Allah Akbar. How so? Allah creates everything in pairs, just like these magnets with north and south poles. Allah Akbar. A boy and a girl naturally attract together, cause that's the system of Allah. Allah Subhanallah. But the moment you have a boy and a boy, it goes against the natural law. Subhanallah. Yeah, and when a girl and a girl get together, that's also rejected. Alhamdulillah, that makes sense. Of course, and just remember, Allah has told us what love is. Yeah, and that's between a boy and a girl. May Allah bless you. Bye. We we'll want to keep our kids from the bad things they want to teach them. Don't to do anything, leave our kids alone. Minister, you walk up, don't do that. Your schools will be empty. We will go to the home school, private school. No school now. You are united with Christians, with everyone here today against uh, ideology. All of, us, all of us want to keep our kids. Christian, Muslim, everybody want to keep his kids. Male and female.